In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new update to YT Evolution. I've done some reviews on this before, and this is one of my favorite WordPress plugins. Because using this, I've got some sites, uh, Google News approved, and I've got them AdSets approved. So I'm making money on Autopilot just by installing a setting or spending a bit of time doing that. If you buy via my link below, I'll give you my full guide on how to get your YT Evo sites Google News approved. It'll be a step-by-step -step process. And that bonus is only available via the link below in the description. So the price is actually going up today on the day of this video. Um, it's going from 97 to 147 and even that is good value for what you get. You get a full uh, commercial license that you can resell the website you create. That's more income source. And there's several new features, really nice features that have been uh, added to this plugin. It's now independent from the theme, so it's just a plugin by itself. And you can use pretty much any theme you want. And there's several other nice enhancements. One is the, the categories option, so you can choose a category that you post your videos to. I'll show you that inside the demo in a second. Um, you can go through this whole page and go through all of the details. There's several examples that uh, Chris gives you here. And let me see. He's got a website here, a demo, public demo website called CryptoSyn. And it shows you all of it shows you the possible layouts and possible options that you've got once you install the plugin and the themes that you need. Well sorry, I mean you can use any theme, but this is a theme that a demo theme that he supplies. Let me show you the some of the new features. This is just a demo uh, website. So I've got the plugin right here. Let me go to straight to settings. Um, this is pretty similar to what it was before, I think. I can't see anything different here. But the on import, so um, uh, you can choose the default category or you can choose tags. And uh, let me see, so auto import states. You, this is pretty much similar to what, what it was before. This is, uh, I think this is new, restrict dis description links. So ideally, you don't want to be importing. Uh, the descriptions because that could come under a copyright issue but the videos because they're embedded they're completely fair use because that's a feature of having public videos on YouTube is you can embed them anywhere you want and anyone can embed them so um, yes yeah, so I think this is a new feature uh, restrict uh, description links uh, as before you can include um, well you should use an uh, easy articles to bring in some actual text content to help your sites rank and then you can use Article Forge to create unique content, which is amazing. That's a, that's a new feature. So you can uh, you can choose your settings here, and you can choose 50 words, 250 words, whatever. But don't forget, this will take a bit of time because it has to use the API to contact Article Forge, write the article, and then come back. And if you're importing a lot of videos, it will take a bit of time to import. But that's a great feature if you really want your site to rank. And then we've got the Spinning Writer, which was there before, which is slightly quicker. So if you use Easy in Articles and Spinning Writer together, it will spin the content and make it a bit more unique. Um, let me see. Okay, so on this demo set, I just made two categories, one iPad, one iPhone. So I've added my YouTube API key. So if I do a search now, and it'll search for the channels containing iPad. So you see on the right-hand side here, this, this is a new feature you can select the category you want per channel. Now before it was a bit of a laborious process. You have to, what I did was I imported a channel into the its category, went back to settings, changed the default category to iPhone for example, then went back again, searched for channels, added to category manually, and it took a bit of time. But this way it's a lot, lot better. And it's a lot easier to get the content in the right category. So this for example, um, let me just pick a channel. I added one, two, one or two of these already. Okay, iPad gaming, let's say for example. So you can auto sync, which is a nice feature, the same as before. So every time a new video comes out, it will add it to your channel, to your site, sorry. So you can save the channel, but here, up here you select your category. So in this case, I'm going to choose iPad and I'll do save YouTube channel. Give it a second to save. And then you click on find videos. And now from this channel, I can choose the videos I want to publish. So before it was a bit annoying you had to choose a category and go back and like I said before, but this is much easier now. So to publish you just click publish. You do a couple at a time if you want, depending on your 
your hosting uh, account and let's view Oops, it didn't work I think my hosting setup is not very good I want to test server yeah SSL is giving issues let me go to posts okay so these are some of the things I import it's just a demo theme and demo setup so let's look at uh, okay this is an SSL error uh, let me fix it and I'll come right back. Okay, I think I fixed it now, so I'll give it a second and I'll go back to it. Okay, now it's secure, so it should work okay now. Okay, there we go. Okay, this theme is probably not the best choice because it's narrow. Um, let me test this one. Yeah, it does it for all of them. Okay, I didn't choose the best theme for this one. Let me find another theme quickly and I'll come back to this. Okay, just change the theme. Let me just quickly test the site again. Okay, you can see already it looks much better. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. Give a second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so here we go. So, um, the reason I'm showing two here because I've probably got featured image um, enabled, so I would disable featured image. But you see, there's the video post, and. I think I forgot to restrict the description. So you can see it's brought all the, the, the uh, description over with all the affiliate links. So of course you want to go back to settings and um, uh, make sure you disable where's it gone? Settings uh, Import Okay I forgot to click on these. So in, in future before you start make sure you restrict everything first and then save um, let me go back to the post. So you can see what you could do with this, and what I've been using it for as well, is I've set up some, I bought some uh, expired domains. They would have high domain authority. I set up some YT Evo sites on there. I installed the plugin. And I used it to, I used it to uh, embed my YouTube channel videos. And on my channel, obviously, I bring in all of the description, everything. So it gives me a bit of ranking. It's all on autopilot. And it saves me having to use something like IFTTT or what's the other one, Zapier and so on. So I can do it's all on autopilot and it will go on as long as my my API is active. Actually talking about API, I forgot to mention that feature. Um YouTube AI API key. I might need to blur this, do I? Yes I do. Um so what you can do now with uh, with YT Evo, this is actually a really good new feature is that you can add multiple API keys. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly what the limit is. I think it's, is it 50 videos a day or 100 videos a day? You can import a, import a certain amount of, uh, of data, a certain amount of videos. And then after that, your, your API will be restricted for 24 hours. I, I believe that's, that's, that's how it works. But now what you can do, you can have multiple, so you can set up multiple projects in Google Developer Console and you can add multiple API keys. So you can pretty much add, I don't know what the limit is, it doesn't say does it? Um, I believe you can add as many as you need to. And yeah, just, just click on add, add another one, add another one, and you keep going. And it will cycle through them and it will find, it will use the working API. So if you, if you want to bring in a lot of videos and really boost your, your site, you can go that way. But I've been going the, I've just been using one API, that's fine for me, I'll be bringing in a lot of videos that way. But some people, I know in the Facebook group, have mentioned that they were having API issues, so that's that's uh, that will solve that issue. And yes, I hope you find it useful. Now, I highly recommend you purchase this plugin. It's one of my essential plugins that I use. And like I said, I've used it to uh, to to embed my own videos on on high domain authority URLs. I've actually made money with AdSense. You can also add affiliate links because part of the plugin is adding. You can add some affiliate links straight into your content. And also you can make a Google News approved sites by using videos and a lot of people in the group are doing that as well. And like I said, one of my bonuses is a complete Google News training. So I'm breaking out step by step how to set up the plugin and how to go through the whole Google News process to get a site approved. So yeah, I hope, I hope you found the video useful. There's a link down below to purchase this and also get my bonuses and I'll see you in the next one.